There's a few things that have been coming up in the last day or two um, that isn't going to make for a very pointed video or a video that's about some, you know, absolute and some, you know, some resolution that I've come to in terms of a bunch of stuff. Um, but I am, I am currently reading um, a book on atheism and I've been kind of delving into um, uh, Dave Rubin's take on on the left and, and liberalism and the right and free speech and things like that, um, the rights of the individual, etc., etc. And, uh, you know, the whole gay cake thing came up again. Um, I know that was sort of like the 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 example um you know of 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 gay rights in the united states in the last last year anyway um and um it keeps coming up um now and the book on atheism too not that it's totally unrelated um started delving into ideas of um the ubiquity of belief as validating its 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 um its its validity or validating its its how would you put it um validating its its truth um and i think for a lot of i think for a lot of like i said this is not going to be an end all be all video which just kind of neither here nor there um it's a little bit disconcerting to think of something being validated as reality just through its its mere propagation and it's it's the it's reach in terms of numbers um I'm kind of reminded of that Bertrand Russell quote. Um, I think it's Bertrand Russell who said that, um, you know, if 50 million people think something silly, it's still something silly. Um, so I think, I think there's a, I think, um, I think, and, and, you know, kind of tying back Dave Rubin into it as well. Um, I don't know a lot about the guy. I've only just started kind of sussing him out. But he does seem to have this this trust that everybody is liberal at heart, um, and I think um, when it comes to ideas of liberalism, um, it, it's somewhat of a <laughs> you it, it, maybe it's something that you take for granted, or I don't I don't know for sure. Um, like I said, this is not a definitive post; it's just saying a few things, um, and it's 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 just. Uh, I, I'm kind of feeling like I have to hold the reins and kind of go whoa a little bit um, with myself um, when it comes to um, you know just how common certain beliefs are, um, just how pervasive they can be in terms of numbers alone, and and have those things justified. Um, the gay stuff is really interesting because I think my starting point for the gay crap is. I don't see homosexuality as on par with religious opinion. Um, I don't think homosexuality is an opinion. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. A, I don't think it's a free speech issue. Um, I don't think it's an issue of, 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 of opinion or anything like that. I, I feel it to be very um, intrinsic to the human condition, and I mean. There's tons and tons. I see it as I see it as race almost. Um, I know there's been you know last year especially with Bill Nye and everything. There's been this whole uh, retake on race. Uh, everybody's the same race, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I mean on the genetic level, you can tell. I mean you see these things. You see these things like you know um, uh, you know these genetic tests from ancestry and, and things like that that talk about race to a certain extent. Um, I'm not saying that race is something that needs to be looked at as separate or segregating people i'm not saying that but um i i think uh when compared to homosexuality it's it's pretty much the same thing on in terms of genetic genetics and uh, epigenetics or or phenotypes or how i don't know um exactly but i mean you know i'm not a scientist but you know maybe I, maybe i use that excuse too much but um maybe i get away with it too but you know um i think scientists like when non-scientists say i'm not a scientist Maybe they don't. Maybe they do. I have no idea. Anyway, point being is, uh, I see the the gay thing as just as I see the race thing. Um, it's not something that's, and you know, maybe I'm not completely agreeing with Bill Nye either. But like, uh, um, you know, I, I do see those things as intrinsic to the way um, a biological being is made up. 
Um, and I see religious opinion as sort of something that is very ephemeral, uh, something that can be changed, uh, something that can be converted away from or deconverted from. Um, you know, so I don't see I don't see the intrinsic reality of religious belief and why those things need to intrude on on you know on 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 society. Um, now, there's the freedom of speech issue when it comes to people have these abstracted ideas about about what how the way gay people should be dealt with. But I mean, if you're if you live under a country with laws that protect the rights of citizens, um, then you, when you open a business to the public, I mean, you know, you. There, I feel like there should be. I know. I know. In um, I know in Ireland, there there's laws that kind of protect consumer rights when it comes to identity, like you know, especially gay identity, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but they still don't really address the 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 idea of freedom of speech when it comes to people who refuse service certain services to gay people or for whatever other reason they refuse service to them um and it, it's kind of it's it's sort of like this trickle down or trickle up effect where you have to wonder i mean you know when it comes to the cake issue especially like i mean like what exactly are you putting on this cake that's going to be so weird like i mean it, it just doesn't make sense like i mean um you know, aren't there hate laws? I mean, there's there's only so many things you can put on a cake that you know um, that starts bordering on you know hate speech um, or inciting violence. Like, I mean, so what exactly are we putting on this cake? I mean, should there be? I mean, can a bakery just put a disclaimer on there saying that you know, well, we made this cake, but we don't condone blah blah blah. Like, I, I don't know it. it like I said, this is not a definitive post. Maybe none of my posts are that, that definitive, but um, it just uh, it just feels like these these beliefs, these things that have no grounding in reality, are somewhat um, are somewhat just so prevalent in in all over the place that they gain validity just through their numbers, and it it just doesn't something about it doesn't jive. Um, Interestingly enough, I mean, I remember in the past year as well, a lot of, like I said, in the last couple of days, this idea of ubiquity has been coming up like very often. And it kind of, it kind of also calls into a view um, Majid Nawaz's take about monetarism and, you know, apostasy and the way you're not supposed to expect that you're going to have mass apostasy overnight because it has proven philosophically or politically uh, or or religiously that you know uh, you know um certain theological stances don't make sense or you know um nobody's expected to be apostatizing overnight um so it's almost like the that's still sort of an attestation to the the robustness in terms of um numbers when it comes to religious belief kind of validating the the belief um so it, it's uh and I understand. I understand that there's like there's a certain cultural side to it, and there's a certain familial side, and a certain traditional side to it. So, like, I mean, but I mean, the beliefs themselves, you know, should be seen as kind of you know non-real. But that's my take on that. Um, I can't say much else. Anyway, I'm sure this is probably going to be a web sort of nebulous kind of nebulous sort of video, but. Uh, um, yeah, I'll watch it and maybe I'll just, but well, that's what I do anyway. I never really pay much attention to detail. I just post these things after I'm done with them. So, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Bye.